Let's get at her. From the Sony Picture Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here he is, the host of Jeopardy! Alex Trebek. Thank you very much, Johnny. Hey, it's time for Jeopardy! So good luck to all our players. Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. It's time now for my next First game of Jeopardy! 2003 for the PC. This is number 24. Measure twice. I have a 20, 23 game winnings total. $1,460,000. Literary forms. Genesis and to wrap things up. Canadian cuisine. Hey. <laughs> Player one, you start us off. Let's go measure twice for 200. A 10 square mile area covers 6,400 of these. Player one. What are acres? Precisely. Yep. Pick again. Uh, measure twice, 400. A gigawatt equals 1,000 of these. Player one. What are, what are megawatts? Definitely. Again, Jeopardy Clue History Site is a very useful tool. Measure twice, 600. I love you a bushel and one of these, or five of these total. Player one. What is a peck? A bushel and a peck. Exactly. Measure eight. If your shotgun has a bore of 18.52 millimeters, this measurement is 12. Player one. What is a gauge? Hey, you're All right. Measure twice a thousand. A 24 karat stone weighs 4.8 of these metric units. Player one. What are grams? Precisely. Pick again. Uh, Canadian cuisine, eh? 200. At a sugaring off party, you may eat tear sur la neige, which is this syrup poured over snow. Player one. What is maple syrup? Hey, you're correct. Canadian cuisine, eh? 400. French Canadians pig out on tortière, a pie traditionally filled with this meat. Player one. What is bacon? Ooh. No? Sorry. Hmm. Player three. What is pork? Exactly. Oh, okay. How about the big screen for 200? She was the 1940s film star Veronica with the peekaboo hairdo. Player three. Who was Veronica Lake? Yes, it was her. So huh. pick again. The big screen for 400? The Palme d'Or, awarded by this French city's film festival, comes from the city's coat of arms. Player one. What is Paris? Good guess. No. Nope. But it's not what we're looking for. Player two. What is Khan? Exactly. Ah. I'll take. Oh, Genesis yeah, the Khan film festival. Noah took clean beasts and fowls on the ark by sevens, and unclean beasts by this amount. Anyone? Player one. What is twos? Yes. Uh-huh. Again, clues your sight, useful tool. Genesis 400. In chapter 2, verse 3, God blesses this numbered day because in it he had rested from all his work. Player one. What is the seventh day? Precisely. Uh-huh. Pick again. Genesis 6. He was Adam and Eve's third-born child. Player one. Who is Seth? Hey, you're correct. I actually had a feeling it was Seth from the beginning. Genesis 800. God made a covenant with this son of Terah. Player one. Who is Abraham? Exactly. Genesis 1000. God made all sorts of these, including one of life and one of the knowledge of good and evil. Player one. What are trees? Hey, you're correct. 
Uh, Canadian cuisine, eh? 600. A tasty pastry named for this beaver appendage is a specialty of hookers, an Ottawa eatery. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player three. Oh. What is the beaver tail? And that's exactly. what I was going to say. Canadian cuisine, eh? For 800. These lingual organs of cod are so popular in Newfoundland that St. John's has a contest for eating them. Player two. What are cod tongues? Yes. Hmm. All right. Oh, piano keys for 200. Heard here, it's the only letter in piano that corresponds to a piano key. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What is A? Precisely. Pick again. Canadian cuisine A, a thousand. Oh, shut. <clears throat> Melpec Bay oysters are a taste treat from this small island province. Player one. What is Prince Edward Island? Yes. Uh huh. Uh, literary forms 200. Term for a mystery novel that's already in the form of a question. Player one. What is Who Done It? Exactly. Literary forms four. This term for a work of morbid or absurd humor is the title of a Peter Schaefer play set in the dark. Player one. What is Black Comedy? Yes. Clue history side up is a useful tool again. Literary form 600. The creatures mentioned in this term for a fantastic story may be joined by elves and goblins. Player one. What is a fairy tale? Exactly. Uh huh. Literary forms 800. Answer. All right. The Daily Double. Make your way oh, I'm not too far. If I, well, if I miss it, I won't be too far off. All of it. Originally, an inscription like an epitaph, it now means a brief, striking observation. Player one. What is an epigram? Yes. All right. Literary forms, a thousand. Robert Frost compared writing this unstructured verse to playing tennis without a net. Player one. What is free verse? Precisely. Pick again. This screen 600. Juliet Lewis was first seen on screen in the 1988 comedy My Stepmother is One of These. Is that it? Anyone? No. What we were looking for. My stepmother is, this? is an alien. Okay. Uh, Bisgreen 800. 1973 film that gave Jason Miller a real workout as the priest Father Karras, dealing with a possessed child. Player two. What is the exorcist? Hmm. Precisely. Pick again. The big screen for 1,000. Oliver Stone wrote this 1983 film starring Al Pacino as a drug-addled Cuban gangster. Player three. Oh. What is Scarface? Damn it, I was thinking that. Definitely. But I hesitated. How about piano keys for 400? Of the two types of piano keys in a Paul McCartney Stevie Wonder hit, it's what G flat the note heard here is. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What is ebony? Exactly. Clues your sight helps. Piano key 600. A six string guitar has two strings tuned to this note, each corresponding to the piano key heard here. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What is E? Definitely. 800. Heard here, they're adjacent on the keyboard, as well as in an abbreviation for a popular format of recorded music. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What are C and D? Exactly. And the last one? 
heard here, it's the key the French call le do du milieu du piano. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What is middle C? Exactly. Just under, just under 20,000. Okay, that's Closing it. in on 20,000 before we end round one, thanks to that true daily double. And again, clue history site, very useful tool. Your first tool. place all alone, player one. You're still in the thick of it, player three. Player two, you're in last place, but you do get to start things off first. 2,200 for player three, player two is 2,000. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for double jeopardy. Here are the categories for the double jeopardy round. Education. Hmm. The dead zone. Dead in quotation marks. I forget. Global village. Frank Sinatra. And a look at our last category. West Virginia. Hmm. Let's try education for 400. Usually the first unit of elementary school, its name is German for children's garden. Player one. What is kindergarten? That's the spot exactly. I actually had a feeling about, I actually kind of knew it from the get-go. Education eight. This Green Mountain state has led all of the states with a high school graduation rate of 89%. Player one. What is Vermont? Exactly. Education 12. On October 30th, 1979, this president nominated Shirley Hufstedler to be the first secretary of education. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. Who is Jimmy Carter? Definitely. Education 16. It's the teachers union, abbreviated the NEA. Player one. What is the National Education Association? Exactly. Uh huh. Education 2000. It's what a sheepskin is. Player one. What is a college diploma? Oh, no, sorry. No? Player two? What is a diploma? Oh, just a diploma. All right. Yes. I'll take... I think they should have still given it to me, though. For 400? It is said that the yellow on Chad's flag represents the sun and this desert. Player one. What is the Sahara? Exactly. All right. Uh, Global Village 8. Trail name given to North Vietnam's main infiltration route into South Vietnam during the war. Player three. What is the Ho Chi Minh Trail? Hmm. That's the spot exactly. I like Frank Sinatra for 400. All right. Well-known Sinatra nicknames include Old Blue Eyes and Chairman of This. Player three. What is the board? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Chairman of the board. Precisely. Pick again. Frank Sinatra for 800. A fireman's son, Francis was born in Hoboken in this state on December 12, 1915. Player one. What is New Jersey? Because 2000... That's the spot exactly. Because 2000 college champ Janet Wong is from there. Frank Sinatra, 1200. Frank was paid $8,000 to play Maggio in this 1953 Eternity film. Player one. What is From Here to Eternity? Precisely. Mm hmm. Pick again. Frank Sinatra, 1600. Frank serenaded this young daughter in the song The Girl with the Laughing Face. Player oh. two? Who is Nancy? Yep. Hey, you're correct. Again, the clue history site, useful tool. How about the dead zone for 400? Numbered in the 6th century by St. Gregory the Great, they include pride, envy, and anger. Player one. What are the seven deadly sins? 
Precisely. Back again. Frank Sinatra, 2000. It was Francis A. Sinatra's middle name. Player two, what is Albert? Hmm. Hey, you're correct. That one I never knew. I forget. For 400. This president pushed for a new deal in 1932 and appealed to the forgotten man at the bottom of the economic pyramid. Player three. Who was Franklin D. Roosevelt? Oh, FTR. Exactly. I forget. For 800. Jack Dempsey in 1926 and Ronald Reagan in 1981 quipped, they forgot to do this. Player one. What is duck? Yes. Again, clue history site. Helpful tool. I forget 1200. In this Eagles Hotel song, some dance to remember, some dance to forget. Player one. What is Hotel California? Precisely. One of my favorite hits of all time. I forget 1600. In this 1945 Hitchcock classic, Gregory Peck doesn't remember if he committed a murder. Player one. What is Spellbound? Hey, you're correct. I forget 2000. You probably forgot you knew this word was Greek for forgetfulness. Player one. What is amnesia? Precisely. Pick again. Global Village 1200. US 101 is usually called the Hollywood one. It leads into the Ventura one. Player one. What is a highway? Ventura Highway. No. No? Sorry. Player three. What is a freeway? Oh. Definitely. Global Village for 1,600. Answer? Oh, The Daily Double. Costly move for me, but then again, even if I found it, I wouldn't have gone all in. Did you make your way to please? Has to do it. In 1945, representatives from 50 nations met in this California city on the bay to draw... Oh, I know this UN one, too. Charter. Player three. What is San Diego? Nope. Ooh, sorry. San Francisco, I bet Here's you. what we were looking yes. for. Yes. I like... West Virginia for 400. Each summer, Grandview State Park recreates the feud between the Hatfields and this family. Player one. Who are the McCoys? That's who we were looking for. Uh, West Virginia 800. In 1859, John Brown raided the arsenal of this ferry, now West Virginia's easternmost town. Player one. What is Harper's Ferry? Precisely. Pick again. West Virginia, 1200. West Virginia has the highest average elevation east of the Mississippi, which may account for this official state nickname. Player one. What is the Mountain State? Yep. Definitely. West Virginia, 1600. This capital city shares its name with a popular 20th century dance. Player one. What is Charleston? Precisely. Pick again. West Virginia 2000. All right. Did you make your way to please? Uh, let's just do 7,400. Of 1853, 1863, or 1873, the year West Virginia became a state. Player one. What is 1863? Definitely. Made the right choice. Global Village 2000. It's the Florida Cape where the space shuttle missions begin. Player one. What is Cape Canaveral? Exactly. Okay, the Dead Zone 2000. Seen here are the caves where these priceless biblical scrolls were found in 1947. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. 
player three. What are the dead letters? No, that's nope. not right. Sorry. Player one. What are the Dead Sea Scrolls? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Dead Zone 16. The plant known as Belladonna is extremely poisonous and is also known by this deadly name. Player two. What is Deadly Nightshade? Mm. Precisely. Pick again. The Dead Zone for 800. Former members of this thankful Jerry Garcia band began touring again as the other ones. Player one. Who are the Grateful Dead? Definitely. And the last one? And the final answer of the round. Deceased Quasimodos are two very similar looking people. Player one. Who are Dead Ringers? Definitely. Yes! And even $46,000. That's the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's check out <coughs> the scores once again. Player one, you've got the lead going into Final Jeopardy. Player two, you've got the lead. 9,200 for player two, minus 2,000 for player three, so she will not be around for Final Jeopardy. Time now for Final Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. And it is? Musical theater. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. Fourteen thousand. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Thank you. In France, this musical that became a movie was known as Briantine. In Mexico, it was Vaselina. I think it might be Greece. I was trying to remember because I know I heard this before on Press Your Luck. So I'm going to go with Greece. Let's see how everyone did. <coughs> Player two. Rent. Question. That is nope. incorrect. So it'll what cost you everything. I Player said one, Greece. Your question. That's correct. Yes, it is Greece. $14,000. $60,000. So the math is easy. $1,520,000. Player one. Hope you all had fun. See you again on Jeopardy. Bye, Alex. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. So that is going to do for this 24th game of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. Again, I have won $60,000 in this game, so math is pretty easy. <clears throat> and again, the Clue History site really helped me out here. Of course, it is unlikely I am going to go on the real show anyway, but still. But still, I'm happy with what I do. And again, again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And remember, subscribe, and I will have another Jeopardy game up soon. So for now, thanks for watching. And remember, and again, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do. And I'll have another Jeopardy game up soon. Thanks, you guys. See you next time.